important thing about this is that um, refusing entry. Uh, here we go. How you doing, mate? You're right. You're the store manager, right? No, I'm not the store. You're the duty manager. manager. Okay, but you're acting as manager today, yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, so what I need to do is just, just talk you through this. Yeah. Um, so um, this is uh, from the Equality Act of 2010. Uh, this is produced by an organisation called Save Our Rights, Code UK. Um, what it clearly explains here is that it's actually an offence uh, to ask for proof of medical exemption, yeah? Um, the government guidelines state that you should not challenge members of the public for proof um, and that members of the public are not required to display a lanyard or proof of exemption from a GP, which is what I explained earlier. Like on the government website, it clearly yeah. states that. Um, also, I think the most important thing for you uh, and the staff members is to know that refusing entry uh, based upon a disability is an offence which each individual is personally yeah. liable for, yeah? so not just the business. Um, and the, your company policy okay. does not supersede the Equality Act of 2010. So legal action will be taken against those who discriminate against someone uh, with a medical exemption and that can carry a personal fine of between 900 and 9,000 pounds, yeah? yeah? Um, so what I need you to know is that I'll continue to use the store um, and if I'm refused entry or if I'm banned from the store or if you're not enabling me to, to use the store in any way, um, then you could be liable for that fine personally, yeah? Do you want me to leave it with me or not? I would, yeah, yeah. I'd like to leave that I'll with you. To my manager. No yes, and, come back and if you could pass that on to I as will. many people as can. That's why I've laminated it, so that it can't yeah. be destroyed. Um, and yeah, if you could, because I understand yeah. you're just doing your job and you get... Well, mine, look. Of course, that's man. That's what we have been told. Yeah? Yes. That without mask, yeah. you cannot allow anybody in. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If they have any medical reason, yeah. they need to prove it. Yeah, yeah. So that's. But I will let my manager. Let him know. One of one of the customers. Yeah. Your name, yeah. Yes. Sure. My name's Nadim. 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 Yeah. Nadim. Yeah. What's your full name? Uh, it's Nadim Lee. L e i g h. N -A -D -E -E -M. Yeah, if you want to write it down, I'm happy yeah, to write it down for you, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's not a personal thing, right? Um, exactly. What it is, I understand you're doing your job. This is a crazy time. There's a lot of misinformation that's, that's happening, um, and governments are, you know, creating laws um, that are totally, um, you know, we can't abide by them, right? Um, so, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and so, yeah, I, I'm aware you're just doing your job. You're being told what you need to do, but exactly. the message needs to go back up. Yep. Yeah, that what you're actually doing is, is a criminal offence, yeah? Um, let my manager know. Awesome, okay. Really appreciate Thank it, buddy. Have a great you. day, all right? And yeah, take yeah. care. Bye-bye. Okay, so that seemed to go reasonably well. Um, uh, I'll keep you guys updated, um, but I think it's very important yeah, well, that we all uh, stand up, we all know our rights, um, and that we all uh, stand up and fight this, because if we all comply, um, then they'll just keep locking us down further and further. Um, and so non-compliance is going to be the only way that we're going to end this lockdown. Um, so anyway, he's been served, um, and uh, I'll keep you updated. Cool.